Thanksgiving. I think we have uh, crossed a, a deeply regrettable line in this committee where for the first time in the 10 years or so that I've been on the committee, uh, there was a vote to politicize the declassification process of intelligence uh, and potentially compromise uh, sources and methods. This is where we are. Uh, we had votes today to politicize the intelligence process, uh, to prohibit the FBI and the Department of Justice from expressing their concerns to our committee and to the House, uh, and to selectively release to the public only the majority's distorted memo without the full facts. Um, a very sad day, I think, uh, in the history of this committee. As I said to my committee colleagues during this hearing, sadly, we can fully expect that the President of the United States will not put the national interest uh, over his own personal interest. But it is a sad day, indeed, when that is also true of our own committee, because today this committee voted to put the President's personal interest, perhaps their own political interest, above the national interest. Uh, in denying themselves even the ability to hear from the Department and the FBI. Um, and that is, I think, a deeply regrettable state of affairs. But it does show how, in my view, when you have a deeply flawed person in the Oval Office, that flaw can infect the whole of government. And today, uh, tragically, it infected our committee.